Welcome back and welcome to part two. This is the part when we start getting into the nitty gritty details of Linux, where we start to configure services, configure file permissions, add users, add groups, remove users, and edit a lot of things. Don't get scared. It's not as complicated as it may sound. It really is straightforward. By the end of this part, you'll see what I'm talking about. The first section in part two is about basic networking. If you've done the Hacking for Beginners course, you've seen a lot of the tools that we're going to be using in this section on the Windows side. Now we're going to see how it looks like on Linux. In this section, we're going to cover an understanding of basic networking, such as finding network information, like your IP address, your DNS IP address, your gateway, and so on, and identifying running services on your machine. Here's a post-exploitation tip. After you compromise a Linux host, one of the things you want to be looking for is, does it have other network interfaces? If it does, that usually means it's connected to two different networks, and you can use that compromised host to make your way into another network or another network segment. In corporate environments, this is a common practice when you want to separate networks that host sensitive information and sensitive servers. Other information you want to look at is what DNS server the compromised host is communicating with. Also, what gateway is it communicating through? That gives you a much better understanding about the network you're on. So when it comes to network connectivity, there are a few things that we want to be looking at. Network interfaces is one. Am I on a wired network? Am I on a wireless network? Am I on a VPN network? What is my IP address? What is my gateway? And what route is my traffic following? In Linux, the naming convention for network interfaces is as such. If it's a wired network, and by the way, if I'm saying network interfaces and you're not familiar with the name, it is how your computer is connected to the network. So if your computer is plugged into a network cable, a physical network cable, the hardware where the network cable is plugged in is called the network card. And the network card has an interface that would have an IP address. So if you're on a wired network, the name of this interface is ETH0 if you have one card. If you have another network card, it would be ETH1, ETH2, and so on. If you're on a wireless network, it would be WLAN0. And the LO stands for the loopback address, also known as home, also known as localhost. And this is the IP address of 127.0.0.1. The loopback address is always this IP address. So if you use the ping tool, for example, that we saw in the Hacking for Beginners course, and you try to ping 127.0.0.1, you'll always get a response because you'll be pinging yourself. Let's see how that practically looks. In Linux, if I want to find out what my IP address is, the command to use is ifconfig. And as you can see here, it returns my IP address, 192.168.88.131. If I want to find out what my DNS server is, and if you don't know what a DNS server is, or you forgot, please go back to the Hacking for Beginners course. We explain all of that in detail. So the command to find what my DNS server is, is nslookup and any website, in this case, google.com. And the command returns an output telling me that my server, which is the DNS server in this case, is 192.168.88.2. Another way to find the DNS server is by looking into a file called resolve.conf. We can use the cat command that we saw previously, and the file is under etc slash resolve.conf. And here we go, the name server or the DNS server that we're using is 192.168.88.2. To find out the gateway that my packets or my traffic is going through, I type IP root. And it just happens that my DNS server is the same as my gateway in this case. It's 192.168.88.2. Let me verify this and use the trace root command. And I'm going to do trace root to hackersacademy.com and I'll interrupt this very quickly with control C and as you can see the gateway the first hop is 192.168.88.2 here's another post exploitation tip for you after compromising a host 
you want to see what services are running on this host and what other computers or hosts on the network are talking to these services. And you can do that using the netstat command. Usually, you use it with the ANTP options. A stands for all, so it shows you all the services running. N, it shows you the numerical address. T, shows you the TCP, as in for the TCP protocol. And P, shows you the name of the program that's running the service. I'm going to let you try that on your own. So your mission for this section is to run netstat on Kali and see if you can find any running services.